We're going to call the July 17th meeting to order. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Bacula? Here. Mr. Murray? Here. Mrs. Keeper? Here. At this time, we'll be the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any board members who desire to add, lead, or separate any items of the consent agenda as proposed? No? All right, I need a motion to approve the meeting agenda as presented for the regular board meeting on July 17th, 2023. So moved. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Beaver? Yes. Motion carried. I need a motion to approve the minutes of the regular board meeting held on June 26th of 2023 and the special board meeting held on July 11th of 2023. So move. Support. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Kiefer? Yes. Motion carried. Are there any board members with correspondence? Mr. Carroll? Mr. Samola? No. Nope. All right, Mr. Small, you continue recognizing guests and visitors. I right, have a few guests with us today. Thank you for being here. If you please introduce yourself. Uh, all right, Jacob Gessler, Bill Ford. Jenny Cameron. Tony Noble. Dylan Hendricks. Jesse Whitehead. Jamie Lovely. Jamie Lovely. Elizabeth Allen. Jamie Lovely. Thank you. Seeing that no one has um, registered to address the board, we're going to move on to our financial reports with Mr. Carroll. Thank you. Um, with this these documents are wrapping up fiscal year 23. Um, so you have your normal reports, your cash reconciliation that shows that we are balanced to the banks. We have our financial summary. This is how we are appropriated within all of our funds. Our cash summary, this is the balance along with encumbrances for uh, wrapping up fiscal year 23. Uh, so it does have a balance of each fund. The second to last column is the encumbrance. So we have wrapped everything up minus one purchase order that we're going to carry over into fiscal year 24. And that is for a grant. We have the disbursement summary. Those are the checks that we have issued during the month of June. The general fund graph. This is our uh, monthly revenue and expenses for the month of June and then compared to last June along with year to date compared to our forecast. Um, so this is our ending cash balance for the end of fiscal year 23. Um, so we're in a good spot right now. And you can see, obviously, we are completed the year. And we have gone through 90% of what we budgeted and 101% uh, of what we forecasted for revenue. And the last page, we have our payroll and benefits broken down. Uh, everything looks very comparable and in line with what we expected. One thing to notice um that looks kind of odd on the graph for payroll comparing fiscal year 22 to 23 we had a big jump this year at the very end and that would be for a couple of retirees and their severance payments so that's the the odd way to work is that correct um, we did have uh, two more grants that came through that we were approved um last month we approved the majority of our grants we had two more come through those are the two grants on there and then a grant that we approved last month, we actually got a very small increase uh, that uh, ODE let us know. It. So that's the increase for those. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Carroll? Well, we'll start with the financial agenda. We'll need a motion to approve the June 2023 financial report. We just went over with Mr. Carroll. Approve the following federal grants for 2023 2024 school year the IDEA ECFE for $6,786.11 and the Stronger Connection for $55,000. We'll need to, uh, to certify the total amount for all sources available for any expenditures and balance for services for your ending June 30th, 2023. We also need to approve the following appropriation modification and demand resources accordingly with that increase of $3,129.66. At this time, I just need a motion to approve the financial report for other financial items. So, for questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Backlund? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. This time, we'll move on to personnel. 
you need to offer the following teacher a one-year limited teaching contract effective with the start of the 2023-2024 school year. Sarah Freese, high school, um, I believe she's gonna be an art teacher. Um, step nine, all of the paying benefits will be according to board adopted policy and agreements with school, I'm sorry, with work assignments delegated by the superintendent. You need to approve a retirement agreement with Ellen Krasilski that includes a special assignment educational consulting, serving as an attendant liaison, and building substitutes until our retirement on September 22nd of 2023. You need to offer the following supplemental contract for 2023 2024, pending the completion of all people activities permit requirements. Michaela Krager, uh, boys soccer, JV coach, Joe Blystone, weight room supervisor. Um, we need to rescind and offer the following supplemental contracts for 2023 2024, pending the completion of any and all certification and licensure requirements. Danette Stettmeyer, we're going to rescind her art club and also rescind her high school yearbook. Um, and those will be going to Sarah Freed, art club and yearbook. We also need to add the following individual to the approved district substitute list pending the completion of any and all certification requirements and background checks. Matt Sager for bus driver. At this time, I just need a motion to approve the above listed personnel positions. So move forward. Questions or discussion? Two things. Are we going to open the waiting room up in the morning? I believe Mr. Rusher was waiting until school started to do that. We, we discussed it and it was open that. Bill may have an answer on his report for that. So yeah. that's in the in discussion. Did I have people ask about the public too? Yeah, that's still in discussion. So the public one. The public? Yeah. yeah. So when school starts, that's why we were gonna get together and kind of try to formulate something for that. So there's had some people asking about it. Gotcha. All right. I roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. We move on to other business. <clears throat> we need a motion to approve an income tax levy, mm -hmm. a resolution determining to proceed and proposing the renewal of an annual tax levy on school district income. Revised Code 5748.02, whereas Revised Code 5748.02. Authorizes school districts to impose voter approved income taxes upon their residents, and whereas the Board of Education of the Evergreen Local School District, the, which will term here on out be the Board of Education, um, currently imposes a traditional income tax that expires December 31st of 2024, and whereas on July 11th of 2023, the Board of Education of the Evergreen Local School District adopted a resolution pursuant to Section 5748.02 of the Revised Code requesting the sale. Tax commissioners to estimate and certify to it the property tax rate and income tax rate that would have to be imposed in the current year to produce an amount equivalent to $1 million annually. A copy of the resolution was certified to the state tax commissioner on July 11, 2023. And on July 12, 2023, the state tax commissioner certified that an income tax rate of 0.3784%, rounded in accordance with Ohio law to 0.5%, or a property tax rate of 3.17 mills would be required to produce an above amount. We will jump down to um, we'll section, let's see. we'll just go to the last section. It is found and determined that all formal actions of this Board of Education concerning related to the adoption of this resolution was adopted in an open meeting of this board and all deliberations of the board that result in such formal actions were adopted in meetings open to the public in compliance with all applicable requirements of Ohio Revised Code. This time we just need a motion to approve the above resolution. Move <clears throat> Questions or discussion? All right, roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, we need a motion to enter into an agreement with Baker's Propane at 1299 North, sorry, North Shoop Avenue in Lafayette to purchase propane at 99 cents a gallon. Uh, last year we were paying um, $1.49, um, plus all applicable taxes, fees, and charges for the period of August 1st, 2023 through July 31st of 2024. So moved. Four. Questions or discussion? Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes, motion carries. At this time, we need a motion to approve school bus stops as recommended by the superintendent and the transportation coordinator. Bus routes and stops are on file with the transportation department. The board further authorizes the superintendent and or his designee to change board approved stops whenever necessary for the 2023-2024 school year. 
So moved. Or question or discussion? Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Bacula? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carried. At this time, we need a motion to approve the following pricing for fall high school athletic passes and for an annual all sports family pass for the 2023 2024 school year. And they are the same prices as 21 to 22 school year. Moved. Or questions or discussion? Uh, I, I do have a question on this. I saw that there was talk of having uh, language in the budget bill that would like, prevent uh, like cashless ticket stuff. Did that pass? Do we have to allow cash purchases for tickets this year? Yeah. Was that changed from last year, correct? Yeah. Okay. So I have that in my report, but that's something that we'll stay in compliance with. We've always taken cash at the gate by athletic events, so I'm uh, just pretty sure you guys will still get compliance with the state. Okay, yeah, it's just a general question. Thank you. All right. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Dacca? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, Mr. Tomolo, would you like to take over discussion and information? Yeah, I wanted to note a staff transfer, Vanessa Meyer moving from high school art position down to the elementary art position with the retirement of Mrs. Krasbilski. And then we wanted to thank and recognize Sky Cinema, uh, Airport Highway Wasian for graciously donating movie tickets to the members of the class of 2023. So we thank them for their generosity and support to the students at Evergreen. All right, Mr. Hendricks. All righty. Good evening, and thank you guys for having me here tonight. Um, right now, we're just kind of getting into the full swing of our fall sports. Um, our numbers look really good for all of our sports, and actually, our boys' soccer numbers are really high this year, which is going to allow us to have a JV team for, I believe, the first time. Well, that's really exciting. Um, working on just finalizing a few things on um, the schedule. Um, I'm going to be printing those pocket, pocket schedules and getting those posted on the district website for everybody to be able to see. Um, actually, something new this year, um, I'm going to be printing just normal paper size calendars as well as the larger poster calendars. Um, and those are going to be passed out to all of the businesses in the community and um, they'll be available at all, at all the schools for families to be able to pick up and take home. So that's something really cool and new. Um, I would like to thank the boosters who purchased uh, digital clocks for all of our locker rooms for teams and officials, um, just to kind of know how much time is left um, on the clock before they go back out for halftime. So I don't have to run back in and get officials with three minutes to go because I can't hear the buzzer. Um, and actually not a lot of schools have that. So that's something that we're very fortunate to have in boosters purchase. So really a, a nice upgrade for our facilities. Um, I'm happy to report that last school year, the athletic department financially finished in the black. Um, we were still able to provide all the necessities for our programs. And I'm looking to keep that trend going into this year. Um, this summer, um, the state changed our scheduling system. So we will be transitioning from what was Arbiter to now Dragonfly. Um, and the same thing through Myosha, which will now be kind of going through final forms. So that's just some new things that are kind of going through the athletic department um, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop with that. Um, some dates for you guys. So August 5th will be the Boosters Chris Miller Memorial Golf Outing. And I, and I know, I think Garrett Damon posted on there today that they're looking for a few more volunteers to help with this fundraiser that the Boosters put, put on. And I believe they have two more, te two more teams available um, for the afternoon slot. So if you guys don't have teams or know of anybody, um, that's a huge fundraising opportunity for our Boosters. So um, get a team signed up. Um, October, so I'm sorry, September 15th um, will be the date of our homecoming game. October 6th will be senior night. And then a date for the fall would be the um, boosters or first raffle would be November 18th over here at Holy Trinity still. Um, that is all I have. Um, besides just looking forward to a great fall season and a great school year. So any questions? Just a compliment. You've done a very nice job. I appreciate it. And I, yep. all you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support and the guidance from the administration and the board giving this opportunity. So thank you guys. Thank you. Dylan? Sir? All right, Mr. Smola. Just a few things to update. Uh, personnel, all teaching and classroom aid positions are filled. We'll hold a new staff orientation on August 16th to get everyone acclimated. That'll be a full day and uh, a few new components to, to that orientation to get them better familiar with, with our district and our students. Uh, buildings and grounds, the maintenance department, custodial staff, and some of employees have been working hard to prepare all facilities for the start of the school year. Buildings are coming together, gym floors are done, and we are 
We are on schedule to be ready for the start of the school year. Uh, parking lots will be patched and sealed next week. And we're in the process of getting prices on the sidewalk repairs. The wiring is being installed to support the new 911 inform system. That is also on schedule to be operational when school starts. Uh, the transportation department has been preparing the bus fleet for operation. Thank them for their hard work to provide safe transportation for our students. Fortunately, we've seen new interest in bus driving subs. We had three applications come in over the weekend. So we've got potentially five new substitutes for the start of the next school year. So that is great. That puts us in a better position than, than the last two years. Communications, the latest edition of the Viking Navigator went out at the end of June to all homes in the district. And next week we'll be sending out the district annual review that will recap the past year and look at future district initiatives and projects. And then the last item, Variety Food Service has been on campus preparing for the upcoming school year. They have a chef in place. They're excited to provide free breakfast to all of our students and offer a variety of lunch options that we haven't had in the past. So they are in full swing. Any questions? That's a first, right? The free uh, breakfast? Yes. <clears throat> and that is one of the components of their proposal that, that weighed heavily on our decision to go with them along with the, the menu options and having a chef. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Are there any board members with questions or concerns? No. All right. We just need a motion to adjourn the July 17, 2023 regular meeting of the Every Local Board of Education. Move. Support. Roll call. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Vanco? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Mrs. Keeper? Yes. Motion carries.